Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Cynthia Deer, and I'm the founder and managing director of Deer and Associates. We're an international business consultancy, and we help companies to enter fast-growing emerging markets, particularly in the Middle East and North Africa. Now, before I started my company, which was about two and a half years ago, I had spent about a decade living and working overseas. I'd been a diplomat in the UAE and Egypt. I'd been a management consultant in London and in Baghdad. And I'd also been the CEO of the Australia Arab Chamber of Commerce and Industry right here in Sydney. In 2013, I launched out and started my own Middle East focused consultancy. And then in 2014, I did KPI. So I came to the KPI program in a bit of a fog. I, I had a lot of professional experience, but it was the first time I'd ever tried to create my own business from scratch, and I was discovering that it wasn't as easy as it looked. I was really struggling to define what we were actually offering our clients, and so I was struggling to, to get clients. Uh, I didn't really know where I was trying to get to, and frankly, I had even less idea how I was going to get there. So I was, I was feeling pretty stuck. I came along to the Brand Accelerator last year, almost by mistake, actually. A colleague of mine wanted to attend, and so I said, oh, OK, I'll come along. I was, I was actually in a really bad mood that day, and I thought, I'll just stay one hour, and then I'll go back to the office. Uh, I got to the event. I ended up being so compelled by what I heard that I stayed around all day, and then I stayed around for another 40 weeks. <laughs> so... Gotcha. <laughs> you did, actually. <laughs> so th when we were, um, I think the, the, the thing that really appealed to me w was the five Ps. I mean, all five Ps, but especially the product P. And that's because, as I said, I was really struggling, you know, with, with defining what we were doing for people. Now, I'm, I'm from a professional services background, which is all about charging by the hour, as some of you will know. And so that was how I'd always approached billing our clients. But when I understood the concept of productization and the ascending transaction model, it was just as though a light globe had gone on in my mind. And I suddenly understood how I could scale the business and how I could just get away from this constant problem of client service and timesheets. And, and I was quite keen on the other P's as well, although I really have to say I was very skeptical about the value of writing a book. Anyway. I finished KPI in December last year, and looking back, I have to say that the, the results have been pretty amazing. Um, in February, I released my first book, Camels, Sheikhs and Billionaires, Your Guide to Business Culture in the Middle East and North Africa, and despite my initial scepticism, the results have been pretty game-changing. Let me give you a couple of examples. Since the book came out, uh, I have been in the media. I have been on SBS Radio English and Arabic. I've been on Radio National with Ger Geraldine Doog. I've had a feature article written by Women's Agenda magazine. I have been uh, in AFR's Boss magazine as a double page spread. I know that sounds really dodgy, but actually it wasn't. Um, <laughs> and, and so on. Um, <laughs> additionally, in March, the Federal Trade Minister, Andrew Robb, invited me to go on a CEO delegation to the Middle East. So I was invited with about 10 other CEOs to go to Saudi and Kuwait with him. The weird thing was, everybody else was from, you know, a leading firm like National Australia Bank, and I was from me. <laughs> but, but it was pretty cool, you know, nonetheless. Uh, what else? Well, I am being asked to speak pretty regularly at industry events now, so I did something for Australian Food and Grocery Council Last week, I'm doing something for New South Wales government. Next week, I'm doing ANZ Bank the week after that, and, you know, and so on and so forth. So that has been great. Um, because the book has positioned me and the company as authorities in our field, we're now being approached by large corporates. And look, that would never have happened a year ago. And now when I call a large company, often they know who I am, and they will have seen the book or they will have seen the media coverage. And because we're authorities, people have stopped asking about price, which is, which is great. Uh, I think, though, most importantly, KPI has given me the confidence that I can create this business that, that I had wanted to create. So I feel, uh, I feel optimistic about the future. I feel very confident that the business is going to go on and grow and flourish. 
And uh, basically, I'm really excited. So I'm Cynthia Deer, and thanks very much.